keep every time I walk past you, I got to be ready to run a fade with you again. Like y'all are too energetic, baby. Y'all have too much energy. Y'all need to go put that to good use. Go, go to the Olympic trials or something. I don't know. Like y'all have a lot of stamina. Y'all, y'all got to put that to something else to some better use than just running fades all day on now. That's TV. I ain't going to hold you. Let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost. Still independent. Still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming up they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Luchy flaming hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. So the nigga out. Treat him like a free code. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say thank ya. Thugs gonna fuck. No, nigga, I'm a prankster. I can make a thug nigga feel like a wankster. Pull up out my green like Shigo. What's up, Luchy gang? It's your girl, Luchy V. And welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be recapping Greek Life episode 5, okay? So if you would like to know my opinions on this episode, then stay tuned to this video right here. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding, ding, ding. Just kidding. Okay, y'all. So I'm back with my Greek Life recaps. I know I took a little break on doing Greek Life. But y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I told y'all those little games that they was playing, the little tug of war and the sitting in the, the bucket of ice, all that like that was boring to me. No shade. I didn't have much to say. Honestly. Didn't have much to say. Okay, same with Playboys. Playboys been the last episode of Playboys was okay though. It, it had got a little spicy. So I, I might recap that last episode. But episode four of Greek Life, which I did not recap, but I'm gonna just touch on some things. You know, they played those little games, whatever, but the highlight of the episode was Ivory versus Pressure, okay? Now, you know, Ivory did, you know, swell her eye up a little bit. No shade, Ivory did swell Pressure. But I was a little shocked. Pressure kept up better than I thought she would. Like, have Pressure been taking some Taekwondo lessons or something? Like, she, she done been putting in work, baby, okay? Because Pressure been doing a little bit better on her fades on, on this show. Because y'all know when I was recapping some of the other shows that she was on, she was getting a little tour. Y'all remember she had got mad and started posting stuff about me on her store because I said she got tour. Girl, you did get tour. Girl, you did. But on this Greek life, you've been, you been stepping it up, okay? Because honestly, her versus Liddy, I feel like if Liddy would never did the little Liddy lock and flip her on the ground, Pressure would have been keeping up with her. You know, and Ivory, you know, we know Ivory... It's, it's not a lot of people that can keep up with Ivory. No shade. You know what I'm saying? She's... Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of people that can keep up with Big big Ivory. Okay? So... But I do feel like Pressure did way better than she usually does in her face. I was like, hold on now, Pressure. Now, the part of the last episode, episode four, that irritated me was after Ivory and Pressure ran their fade or whatever, Ivory had made a little joke like, shut your eye up, shut your eye up. And baby, Naj fell out like it was just the key of the century. <laughs> like, it, it was not that funny. No shade. It was not that funny. Like, I don't know. It seemed like Naj really wants to be on Ivory's good side. Because she don't want to have to possibly <laughs> run that fade. Okay? So, episode five. They move into the little dorms or whatever that is that they're living in or whatever people... Start picking their rooms, all this and that, okay? And Ivory and Jazz, like, while Pressure is walking through the hallway, Ivory and Jazz attempt to jump her, but security broke it up. And on the last episode, after Ivory and Jazz, I mean, after Ivory and Pressure ran the fade, Pressure did try to sneak Jazz, who was Ivory's sister. So, you know, they're like, she's like, why did you try to sneak me? Why did you try to sneak me? And Pressure was like, you're the closest thing to her. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that was so funny to me, like, not you can't get to Avery fast enough so you're going to just pop on her sister girl. But, you know, I was really glad that they didn't let them jump her, though. Because it's like, wh why you don't just run a fade by yourself, Jazz? I don't know. It's like, I'm not really feeling Avery sister Jazz on this show. On Mean Girls, she seemed a little bit more level-headed. Even though she was only on, like, one episode of Mean Girls. She seemed, like, a little more level-headed and less rowdy than Avery on this show. I think that... I don't know. It's like because of Avery's reputation for being so rowdy, it seems like she's trying to keep up. I don't know. I'm going to have to see as the season continues. But as of right now, I'm not really feeling jazz. Okay. So they go to a scene in a room with Shaba. And Shaba is explaining how Billy keeps messing with her when she's irritated. And like just, you know, yelling into the camera, really popping it. And the boy Cologne is like, 
girl, shut up, basically. And, you know, they start exchanging words back and forth. Now, I really don't like that every time Shaba gets into an argument with a gay boy, she starts, like, using them being gay as the insult, as if it's a bad thing to be gay. Like, that kind of irritates me with Shaba. It's like, say something else about him. Why, like, because... I mean, clearly they're openly gay, so that's not a problem, baby. So, like, what you mean, sis? Okay. But Ivory comes in the room, and she basically saying she's tired of Shaba yelling all day. It's irritating. Woo-woo. And, you know, uh, one of them, I think Pharaoh said, like, get her. And Fly and I was like, don't don't be telling her to get nobody. Woo-woo. And Ivory like, what? Who you talking to? Who you talking to? And... I really felt like that whole situation between Avery and Fly Now was so unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Fly Now was yelling at Ivory. And as we saw on South Central Baddies last season, Fly Now has a habit of uh, 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 bucking up, screaming in her friend's face, which she did to Ivory. And, you know, Ivory gave her a pass, let her slide. Because, I mean, we, we've, we've seen Big Ivory knock people block off for less. So, you know, you could tell she really just rocked with Fly Now. But she says she's tired of it. She's not going. She can't be screaming her face on this show here. And baby, Avery just make up, make up, make up, make up, make up, fly now. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, it was a point where she had like grabbed fly now by the neck and like lifted her up against the bunk beds and was just mm, 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 all face shots. I was like, because y'all know I like fly now. So I did not want to see them versus each other. Because I just had a feeling Avery was going to eat her up. I'm not going to lie. I had a feeling that Avery was going to eat her up. And she did. She ate her up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. So then, you know, at this point, Fly Nye is angry. You know what I'm saying? Avery was in a different room. Fly Nye ran into the other room and just, boom, snuck Avery in between the bunk beds. And it was like, you snuck her and she still folded you up in between them beds. Put you away like a sheet or a blanket. In them beds, baby, she folded you up, sister. You snug her, and you got snuggled, snuggled up in them blankets, baby, because she folded you up in that bed. Like, that was crazy to me. I was like, oh, my gosh. So they decided to run a third round. Now, they ran this third round in the hallway. They squared up this time, and Ivory, Ivory, Ivory did it again. You know what I'm saying? She, she, she won it again. Now, they said they are still friends, and... You know, sometimes friends just have to run a little fade and get it out the way. And we'll, we'll, I ain't going to lie. None of me and my friends run a fade with each other. Once you put your hands on me, you're done. Finito. Dust. It, it's over with. We can never be cool again. Like, once you put your hands on me and you tore me up, it's not even like it was like a friendly little get back girl, little push. Little, uh, like, girl, you tore her up. You tore her up, honey. Like, I, I, I mean, I... Hey, whatever floats their boat, whatever works for their friendship, that's their business. But me, myself, personally, if we run three rounds, there's no way that we're going to be cool and besties again. Talking about, I know she really has my back and blah, 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 blah. Like, baby, I don't care how much I think you have my back. Once we run three rounds and you you really brawl with me, like, it's not even like, you know what I mean? How sisters and brothers fight, like, it's not as, like, she, like, brawls her like, like an enemy for real. So, yeah, no, it, it's no more being cool. Okay, so in the midst of all the chaos, Billy tried to get Shaba again, but security stopped her. And I just need to know, like, what be making them so mad to where they just want to continuously run phase with people they already ran a phase with? Because you already got Shaba. Okay, you already got her. So why do you have to keep running the phase with her? Like, I, baby, I be over it. I be over it, like, People do not make me mad enough to where I just keep every time I walk past you, I got to be ready to run a fade with you again. Like y'all are too energetic, baby. Y'all have too much energy. Y'all need to go put that to good use. Go, go to the Olympic trials or something. I don't know. Like y'all have a lot of stamina. Y'all, y'all got to put that to something else to some better use than just running fades all day on now. That's TV. I ain't going to hold you. I mean, it's entertaining for us though. So go ahead. Keep entertaining us, I guess. Okay. So, um, off camera, Joyce and Ivory exchange words. It wasn't caught on camera. We just had to read a little caption on the screen. Apparently they threw some mouthwash and some water on each other. 
I, I, I don't know. Like I said, we didn't see it. We just had to go off of like the aftermath of the argument or whatever. And I'm not going to lie. Joyce ate her up. Like, yeah, with that nut wig you got on, that curly wig. And I'm not going to lie. The curly wig that Ivory keep wearing in the confessionals, like the little blonde highlight brown one or whatever, that one irritates me. That one does look nutty. No shade. That one irritates me. But then Jazz, you know, her sister trying to come in and all that. And they was calling, Jazz was calling Joyce ugly. And I was confused because I'm like, Joyce look better than you, sis. No shade. Like, they got to find some better reason than, than calling Joyce ugly because Joyce look better than half the cast. So, we, we got to find another read for Joyce, baby. Y'all could say anything else about her, but saying she's ugly is a reach because Joyce looks T. Okay, so while Joyce and Ivory are arguing, Joyce is like, okay, I got a fade for you. She goes to get Cologne. So, Cologne could run the fade with Joyce because you guys know since Joyce is trans, you know, she doesn't want to fight Ivory, who is a natural born female. So she goes to get Cologne. Now, I don't feel like Cologne should be running phase with any of the trans girls that take hormones. You know what I'm saying? Because he does not identify as trans. He identifies as a man and he wears his wigs and, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But he is strong. He is, you know what I'm saying? He'd be, he be rumbling the boys on the other show. So I do not feel like. He should be running a, a fade with Joyce. Joyce didn't want to run a fade with him, which is completely understandable. Y'all know she just got nose did. I honestly don't even feel like Joyce should have came on this show knowing she had a, a fresh new um a fresh new nose job. And not only that, on every single show that we have watched Joyce on, she has been the most hated every time. So you had to know that you would possibly have to run some fades, sister. Okay. So they didn't run a fade, you know. Cologne saying like, oh, he met Ivory at the boxing match and they just hit it off. They linked up. So <sighs> Cologne. Okay, honey. But anyway, so then Pharaoh tries to check Crystal. Crystal is on Joyce's team and Crystal had agreed to do Ivory's eyebrows. And Pharaoh was basically saying she was fake. Joyce was saying she don't have loyalty and all that. And Crystal was saying like, you know, well, me and Ivory was on Young and Reckless together. I got a friendship with her. You know, I respect you as my team, but I also can't be acting weird with her when she's my friend. And it's like, I understood that. I feel like if it don't, if the argument don't have nothing to do with me, I'm not going to be telling somebody who I'm cool with outside the show, no, I can't mess with them because you got into it with somebody on my team. Long as I'm not going to be messy and talk about Joyce with Ivory, then I don't see the problem. But Crystal ended up crying. And I just feel like, Crystal, y'all know her boyfriend was on Playboys and he quit. I feel like both of them are kind of like too emotional and too sensitive for these kind of shows. Like you can't be taking stuff personal. You can't be taking this stuff serious. Like you know how people get on the cameras and all that. They're going to do the most for camera time. We know Joyce is a troll. So it's like I, I felt bad that Crystal started crying. But it's also like I feel like she kind of gets too emotionally invested in these shows. You know what I'm saying? So Kenzie comes in and she tells Pharaoh, like, leave her alone. That's a female. And Pharaoh saying he'll come and he'll do this and that's a Kenzie and woo woo. And then Joyce tells Kenzie, like, you standing up for these girls, but not standing up for the trans girls. And up. like, it was a mess, honey. Okay. It was a mess, honey. But that was the end of the episode. On the next episode, it looks like it's going to be very chaotic. There was more fades than I can name. But we do see Joyce with the bloody face. Which really made me sad to see. It it was looking like I don't know if y'all remember that old picture of Stone Cold, and then he got all the blood coming down his face. Like it gives that. It gives that. It made me kind of sad to see it because I think Joyce is so pretty. Now Joyce does talk a lot, and she does. You know what I mean? She is messy, so it's like watch your mouth, watch your man, and you should watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? It gives that, but it still is just like cologne does not take hormones so he still has the strength of a man and joyce does not so i don't think that's fair you know i i feel like it should be trans girls versus trans girls men versus men women versus women you know what i'm saying i don't feel like any man should be putting their hands on any of the trans women i'm sorry that's just my opinion you don't have to agree but that's how i feel so okay that's the end of the episode you guys in I filmed this today. It's Thursday. Y'all know sometimes YouTube does not let me post it right away. So if it's not posted today, it'll be up 
Friday. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.